KD 4.9 was just released a couple of days ago and is already packaged as a binary package in the most common Linux distributions such as Kubuntu, OpenSUSE and my favorite Neptune. If you want to get more information about KDE 4.9 just go to the kde.org website and just look for the release announcement in there which will give you more information about the most common changes in the KDE Plasma workspaces and the KDE applications. So let's first start with the KDE Plasma workspaces applications and one of the most used application I think in KDE which is the, which is the file manager Dolphin. In the last version they rewrite completely the file viewing area and in this particular version they updated and tweaked a little bit here and there to make it a little bit faster and to uh, and they made some nice changes so for example if I want to rename this folder here from tests to test all I can do is just right click click on rename and instead of popping up a new window it allows inline renames so I can rename it to test which is very nice. Another thing that you will notice automatically is on the left they changed a little bit here in the bookmarks view they just added categories just like places and devices so they have different categories in here and if you have uh, Nepomuk searches and you will save them you will get another category called searches in here where you can basically store virtual folders with your Nepomuk searches in here pretty pretty nice pretty pretty cool the control button uh, jumped from the far right to the left a little bit and adds some other features just like additional information just like uh, information about rating um, so if you have rated just like for example I've rated my rec FFmpeg trace script for recording this uh, session in here uh, you can see uh, it will automatically grab the snapper book uh, rates and will show them in here. Pretty pretty nice. You can add some other additional information like uh, comments for documents. You can as, uh, add a word count. Uh, you I don't have <laughs> a document in here. Uh, for images you can uh, show the image size, the orientation. For audio you can show the artist, the album, the duration or the track. Pretty pretty nice, pretty pretty handy. A good solid dolphin so the next thing that they changed is they added a nice little context menu entry which allows you to pin various different files to activities so if I right click here on my file I can click on activities you can see I can uh, link this to the current activity or link it to a search and launch activity which I have or my desktop activity so that I now can link various different files to activities which allows me to see those files only on these activities or it allows me to search faster and find faster the files that I need on my current activity which is a pretty nice and handy feature so pinning um, or linking files to an activity which by the way comes from the Plasma Active team which did a great job on this. So this is this for Dolphin. Another thing that I want to show you now is uh, for the Plasma desktop they added a new activity manager and a new uh, Plasmoid widget manager. So let me go to uh, activities first. You will see that it got a nice new looking theme, a nice new looking overhaul, especially the buttons. And this is, by the way, uh, possible because they rewritten the whole wizard, the whole uh, manager, the whole uh, stuff widget uh, stuff in here in QML and you can see this by clicking in here for example and see the nice transitions and nice animation effect which is uh, just simply beautiful and which shows the power of uh, QML. So let's go and create uh, or add new widgets you can see this is also now a little bit different as it was uh, you can see that uh, we now have an icon here and a description to the right of the icon we can just simply drag it over so this does not change works like in the previous versions 
What's pretty nice is that the enter search term now automatically gets um, highlighted if I open up this uh, widget. So let me do this. Add widgets and I can now then automatically type and it will automatically search for the widgets that are typed in which is pretty handy in the older versions there was still a bug so that you have to click every time on this search um, thingy here to search something. This is pretty nice and I don't know if it was in the previous versions categories are back I think it was back, uh, it, it was there, but uh, I'm not quite sure. So we have the option to search for different categories or show different categories in here. Let's look for example, multimedia. As you can see, if I have clock in here, it does not find anything. If I delete it, you can see now I only see the uh, various different widgets that have to do with multimedia. So this is this for the KDE workspaces. There is also a nice little improvement for the KWIN window manager, Quinn. So if I click on system settings here on window behavior, you can see this in a new configuration dialog for the uh, task switcher, where we can also set some new task switches. As you can see here, there are a lot of them. Let me go to cover switch, for example, show you this. Uh, I have to open another window. So this is how cover switch will look like. Nice pretty little effect. They have this uh, grid view which is new. Let me just open another file manager. As you can see here, the grid task switcher, pretty nice. And of course the old uh, ones, the compact one, the informative one, uh, the large icons one, the text icons and so on. And the flip switch, which is also nice, kind of reminds me of Windows. So this is this. They also added some cool new features like scripting support for Quinn. As you can see here, you have the option now to set some or enable some scripting stuff, um, which allows you to yeah, create new effects or uh, have special effects on special applications, just like for example, span full screen video player over all attached screens to view a video wall, which is pretty nice, which is uh, already shipped with uh, you can import some Quinn scripts and I think until the next version, uh, KDE 4.10, there will be also a get new hot uh, Quinn scripts from the opendesktop.org archive. So this uh, will also work then. So there are some nice improvements under the hood in Quinn, which makes it faster, which makes it prettier and which makes the whole system a lot responsive. So this is uh, this now. Let me go to applications and I have already the console open, the terminal application open and one of the cool new features for example is that you now have just like in the browser you can just drag this out of here and it will then create a new separate console window for you. Pretty pretty nice, pretty pretty handy, works good. Another thing is let me open up the file manager again, is that you now have also the option if you drag a uh, folder in here, is that you can uh, say change directory to, which is a new and nice pretty um, little helper, which allows you to change directly to this particular folder. And this is pretty, pretty handy, saves a lot of working time in the terminal. Another nice thing is if you want to search for a specific keyword, just mark it in here, right click and you can go to search for screencast with Google, Wikipedia, Yahoo or other web shortcuts that you already have configured. Let me click on Google here and you can see it automatically launches a Google search for screencast. Pretty nice, pretty good, pretty handy. Um, there is also the option to open the file manager in this particular directory. I think this was already available in um, the older console, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm showing you this in here. So let me just take a look at the cheat sheet for the KD applications. You can see there are some other uh, new stuff in here like the context suite which which got a nice little update uh, the KDE education uh, stuff uh, KDE games got a nice little uh, update and so on 
one of the cool new updates that I just really I, I really longed a lot for was uh, PDF exporting support with annotations. So let me show you this in uh, the file manager just by going to my documents folder and I have a PDF in here. I have some uh, annotations in here and just like I marked something you can do this by going to tools and review and then you can have a yellow uh, highlighter to mark something or you have the annotation uh, just double click it and you can see its content uh, pretty pretty nice but in the in the old versions you already uh, had if, if you already have uh, this annotations done you need to export those to a document archive which can only be opened by ocular which is pretty 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 just stupid as you as you cannot share your pdf file with colleagues which which might have used gnome or uh, even windows or mac so with this new ocular version you have the option to file save as and uh, let me save it on desktop save it in here and i now have a new pdf here on the top of my desktop which I can open on my Mac, on my Windows machine with any PDF view which supports annotations and I can see my annotations. I can click on this uh, annotation in here and uh, read it. Very, very nice, very cool and very, very handy feature of Ocular. Another cool feature added to GwenView, the image viewing and image management application. Let me open, ju just let me open up my wallpaper folder with GwenView can see I have now an overview of my pictures in here and if I just click on this one and go to full screen you can see the normal um, when view look in full screen as it was before but now you have a button called overview and this is basically in full screen mode for the overview of all thumbnails of your uh, wallpapers for example or pictures that you've taken very nice especially if you have lots and lots of photos taken uh, and you want to directly uh, go to a specific photo uh, this works pretty nice if you are in the overview mode and uh, it is now usable also in full screen pretty nice feature pretty handy feature very good image viewing application when view so this is basically everything that I found out so far for KDE 4.9. If you have some cool features, just post it below or create another screencast and show me them. I want to know about them. Uh, if you want to experience other features or just read the whole um, an announcement, you can do so just by going to the KDE.org website. There's a nice screenshot showing the new Dolphin. A window and uh, showing some yeah features in here just like the search that I showed you and the change directory and the kwin features explained activities explained and yeah this is pretty th pretty much everything for this screencast I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching